Good afternoon, and thanks so much, Jeannie, for the introduction. My name is Catalina Scheider Galignanes. I am 16 years old, and I have lived my entire life here in the Washington, D.C. metro area. I'm a junior at Oak Crest School, an all-girls middle school and high school in Vienna, Virginia, and I am president of its Respect Life Club. <laughs> I am so honored that Oak Crest School students will carry the banner and lead the March for Life this year. As a Catholic and a young woman, <laughs> I've always been passionate about protecting the unborn. Throughout my life, I have continually witnessed my parents prioritizing my brother and me, emphasizing the beauty of parenthood, the gift of life, and the importance of the family. I've attended the March for Life for years. This is my seventh march, and I'm so grateful to be speaking in front of all of you today. <laughs> we know that every aborted child is a unique person, a person with human dignity, a person created in the image and likeness of God, a person our world is tragically missing whose life was ended before they breathed their first breath. From the moment I realized that the abortion industry was ending the lives of millions of babies and lying to women everywhere, I knew God was calling me and each of us to act, calling us to defend human dignity and protect the lives of generations to come. That's what we are doing here today. <laughs> We are showing the world that we believe in the importance of every single human life, regardless of their size or level of development. This year, 2020, marks 100 years since American women were granted the right to vote in 1920. <laughs> the heroic suffragists knew that the fight for women's rights did not end with the vote. They were strong pro-life advocates and helped to pave the way for the modern pro-life movement. Today, we honor them and continue their legacy of justice through defending the most vulnerable, the most marginalized, those whose rights go completely unrecognized, the unborn boys and girls throughout the world. The 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote in the United States but millions of young women today are denied the right to life while they are still in the womb. With the same passion and strength of the suffragists, we have to fight against the horror of abortion with all of ourselves, with all of our energy. Even if legislatures or courts oppose us, the pro-life movement's energy and growth come from its courageous members. You and I, the youth, the pro-life generation, are going to end abortion. We cannot march today and forget tomorrow. All of us in our daily lives can encourage a culture of life. We're going to support young mothers in difficult situations. We're going to save millions of lives. <laughs> If you support a ministry that helps women in difficult or unexpected pregnancies, if you volunteer or give financially to support mothers, let America hear you now. All of the pro-life student clubs and pro-life organizations represented here today are evidence that each of us as individuals make a difference in the fight for equality and human rights for the unborn. I will close with words from St. Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything in love. Muchas gracias. Ahora vamos a marchar por todas las vidas. Thank you so much. Now let's march for life.